What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate your MailChimp account with your WordPress website. Once I'm done with the video, I'll create a blog post to go with it and you can view that at pixelweb.com. What I typically do is I create the video and a blog post to go along with it. That way you can see the information as well as view the video if you want. Alright, if you find the video helpful, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification icon so that way whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is log into our WordPress websites. I'm working on a local installation of WordPress. Go back to the dashboard, go to plugins, add new. In the search plugins field, type out MailChimp for WordPress. It's going to be this first option over here. As you can see, it has 900,000 plus active installations, has amazing reviews, recently updated. So install now, then activate it. All right, so once it's active, go to your settings link there. You're going to get this notification that it's not connected to your MailChimp account. So head on to your MailChimp dashboard. Make sure you're logged in. Go to your account section. Go to extras and then API keys. Grab your API key, copy it. Head back over to your WordPress website, paste it in there, save changes. Then you'll get the connected notification there, and then it'll grab all the various lists that you have. All right, so before we create a form, what you can do is you can go to other, see if you get any information over here for the debug log. This will let you know if there's any errors. Most likely you should have nothing. All right, so for the integrations, if you're working with any of these other plugins, then you'll be able to integrate with them. And now let's go to the form section. So give your form a title. Select the list that you want to coincide it with, then add new form, and then you're going to get a heads up that there's a couple of fields that you have to use. All right, so to work with this, we'll go down here. You want to put your cursor at the top like that, and for this form, we'll add the first name. I'm going to copy that, put it as the placeholder, add to form, and you now see that it's added right there. We'll grab the last name, add to form. And now we have the first name and the last name. You also have the email address there by default and the submit button over here. If you want to add a phone number, you can do that. If you want to add a website, you can do that as well. We don't need to add the submit button because we have the sign up button right there. All right, so save your changes. And before we actually create the forms or place our form on different locations, let's look at the message section. So you can customize the message that it gives the person once they sign up. This is the different information you, you can customize. If you make any changes, make sure you save it. In the settings section, you can configure which list it's going to go with. If you want to use a double opt-in. And then if you want to update existing subscribers, you can click yes there. Or you can leave it at no. If you want to redirect to another page, you can do that over here as well. If you make any changes, to save them. And now for the appearance, you can choose to inherit the styles from the theme you're using. Or you could use one of their pre-selected themes. So I'm just going to select the light theme for now. Save changes. Go to get short code. I'm going to copy that. And now let's go over here to the appearance and widgets area. I'm going to grab a text widget, put it into the right sidebar. There's a short code. Just give it a title, save. And at the same time, I'll create a page as well. Put the short code right there and we'll publish this. So let's view how it looks. All right, so this is how it looks on the page over here. The email signup page, first name, last name, email address, and the signup. Then you also have it over here in the sidebar. What I'll do is I'll edit the page, go over here to default template, choose no sidebar, update. I'm using my custom theme over here, Evo Pro. So it comes with a bunch of different layout options for the pages and for the posts. So it's easy to use. What happens is a person will just sign up, click sign up, and then they'll get this uh, thank you notification. Thank you, your sign up request was successful. Please check your email inbox to confirm. And that's it. It's very easy to use. It's a free solution. So if you're looking for a good plugin to use to integrate with your MailChimp account, this is going to be it. MailChimp for WordPress. It's free, it's popular, it's well maintained, and it's seamless. Alright, so hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to show you how to integrate an easy to use plugin with your MailChimp account. If you found it helpful, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification icon down below. And if you need a website, visit pixelweb.com. I'll make sure to hook you up. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.